Hi, I'm Reggie with Stupid Reasons. In this video, I will show you three ways how to create a proxy in Final Cut Pro. So let's get it on! For the first method, this is the manual method. So go to your library browser, right click your clip, and then transcode media, and then select create proxy media, and then select ProRes proxy, and then select the frame size to 50%, and then hit OK. And then wait for it. Depending on your clip, this may take longer. You can also select all your clips, and then right click, and then transcode code media and then create proxy media progress proxy and 50% and then hit ok and then just click the button up here next to the key this is your background tasks so this is where you can see the progress of the proxy transcoding okay just wait for it okay to see your proxy just go to your viewer and then click view and then select media playback make it proxy only okay as you can see the quality is not as good but it's a proxy okay for the second method this is the automatic okay then go to final cut pro go to preferences go to import and then go to transcode select create proxy media and then select ProRes proxy and then make it 50% the frame size and then exit so every time you import a clip in your project or your library there will be a proxy file okay so proxy files will take up your space on your mac storage so after you're done editing just clear disk space okay and i made a video about how to clear this space just click up in this corner right now to check it out okay if this video has been helpful to you go ahead and hit that like button i would really appreciate it for the third method what if you're working on a humongous project and you need the proxy because your computer is slowing down because of the files the effects the titles and transitions i'm glad you asked let's go to your library browser and then hit ctrl a to select your clips and then right click one of your clips and then transcode media select create proxy media codec is progress proxy frame size is 50 percent and then hit ok and then wait for the transcoding and you'll be good to go okay just go to your background task window to see the progress okay by the way every time you move your cursor on your timeline the transcoding will pause okay so to continue transcoding just let it go okay okay it's now good to go this is our sample project okay look at that it plays so smooth there you have it very simple right Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something today. If you want to learn more, I've made a video about how to add grain in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.